Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, doctor. Okay, good. Uh, can we start with tutorial three, part one? Who is the first person to answer the first question? Me, doctor. Okay, can you please start now? Yeah, I can. Can doctor see my screen? No, not yet. Yes. Okay. We fix a uh, slideshow. So, uh, wait. A very good morning to Dr. Ao and my fellow classmates. My name is Kalin Chiu. I'm from Tutorial 2, Group 5. Today, I'm going to present about the Tutorial 3, Part 1, Question 1. Determine the following statements, whether it is true or false. One, lag is used in the development of the project schedule, which is true. And two, a lag directs a delay in the predecessor activity. The answer is false. The reason is a lag time is the amount of time whereby a successor activity is required to be delayed with respect to a predecessor activity. 3. A lead allows a successor activity to be delayed, which is false. The reason is, lead is the acceleration of a successor activity. It is lag that allows a successor activity to be delayed. 4. A lead allows acceleration of the successor activity, which is true. And 5. A lag allows acceleration of the successor activities which is false. The reason is a lag allows a successor activity to be delayed. Six, lead is only found activities with finished to start relationship, which is true. And that's all for me. Thank you. And I would like to pass my mic to the next presenter. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. All your answers are correct. Okay, thank you. Okay, next. Okay, next. Doctor. Yeah. Okay, doctor, I will share my screen now. Okay. Can you see my screen? Uh, can see your face, but not your the slide. Okay, show me now. Can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay. Okay, so uh, good morning, Dr. Ao, and I am Xiao Chi from Team 5. So to present about the Euro 3, question 2. The question states that the technical writer team can begin to edit a website content 10 days after it begins composing it. What kind of dependency would this be? Present, represent. So, like what we can see over here, uh, the question stated begin to edit a website contents after it begins composing it. And the next thing is it begins to edit a website contents after it begins. So, what we can state over there is it start to start with a 10 days lag. So, the answer will be A. Uh, that's my Yes, the answer will be A and uh, start to start with a 10 days late and thank you and I will pass the session to the next presenter. Yes, good. Yes. good. Yeah. Thank you. You have to take note, uh, you know, the, the clue if you look at the keyword begin, begin. So it's start to start. So when it's a complete, complete, that means it will be finish to finish. You understand? Good. That's good. Very good explanation. Okay, thank you. Okay, next, next. Which three? Team six. Uh, here, madam. Uh, presenting, uh, presenting the 
question three. Now I'm sharing my screen. Yeah. Okay. Madam, do you see my screen? Yeah. Uh, I'm presenting tutorial three, question three. Then this is the question. I will win. I'm given to build a contract award. Uh, I got a contract award to build a garage for FSKDM. I will receive 500 gig when I complete the project within 15 days. The contract will con uh, contain a penalty if I uh, didn't finish the project within uh, 15 days. Then I will charge uh, 100 ringgit uh, a day. Uh, at when I assist uh, 15 days. Then I need to draw, I need to draw a project network. Then here was the, the table we need to draw about the project network. Then uh, before before I start to draw, I, I need to know that. I need to, I, ah, sorry. I need to do this. Uh, in the chart later, ES is for early start, then EF is for early uh, finish, sorry, I typo, then LS for late start, LF for last, last finish, then SL will be slack, DU will be duration, DS will be description. Then we need to identify which is the merge, merge one. Uh, for the merge one is GHI, we need to choose the largest early finish. For BEF, we need, because it bursts, we need to choose the smallest uh, late start. Then after, we need to identify what's the early finish. Early finish equal to early start plus duration. Let's start equal to let's finish minus duration. Then select will be LS minus ES or LF minus EF. Then this was my chart. Uh, we need to identify the critical path by, like, be because from the table we can divide to one, two, three, four, and five, six. So critical path will take the longest, uh, the longer path up because, like, uh, for example, uh, when we see the, when we see the. Uh, like, uh, like, like, C D E F. It will be the same, same row, a uh, same column. But we need to identify the longest, uh, longest duration. Uh. for example, uh, it will be like A B C. Then G, I J will be the the critical path. Uh. This will be A, B, C, G, I, J will be the critical path. Then after we doing the all, all the thing, we get that uh, the the duration we we need to finish this project is 16 days. So I will gonna 100 ringgit penalty. That's all. Yeah, correct. Okay, your answer is correct. So it's overdue by one day. Okay. okay, next, can I have the next presenter? Uh, after I'm the next presenter, I'll be sharing my screen. Okay. So, can you see my screen now? It's a blank screen. Yeah, it's no? a blank screen. Yeah. Uh, okay, you can start now. So, first, good morning to Dr. O, and good morning to everyone. So, uh, I'm Gan Hongsheng, uh, you can call me Gan, I'll be presenting a uh, question four. So, let's begin. So, before we begin with the presentation, let's start with the quote of the day. You will always pass failure on the way to success. So, let's hope that you won't stop when you fail next. So about the questions, 
So imagine you are designing or developing a project schedules. You wonder what is the dependency call when the completions of a successor activity depends on the completion of its predecessor activity. So let's visualize the question. So first that we should ask ourselves, what is completions of a successor activity? So this is activity A and the arrow pointer is called a uh, set of activity. And this arrow, another arrow pointer is called completion of the activity or finish of the activity. So let's go to step two, which is back to the questions. So the question says that the completions of a success, successor activity depends on the completions of predecessor activity. So let's visualize it in a, as a diagram after what we have learned in the previous slide. So this is uh, fin this is connected to the finish part and this is connected to the finish part too. So back to the questions. So it shows us four options. Just now the diagram already shows us the answer. So basically the answer will be B, finish to finish. And if you're wondering why, so this is the answers for A, uh, start to start, and B, uh, C, finish to start, and D, start to finish. This is the diagram for them, and that's all for my part. Thank you, and thank you for your precious time. Hope you all have a great understanding. Yeah, very good. Well explained. So the keyword, uh, just take note, the keyword in the question will be, you see the word is completion, completion. That means finish to finish. You understand? But just now, the other question is begin, begins. You understand? So that is start to start. So you've got exam, you see this kind of question, then you look for the keywords. Okay? So, and uh, well explained by uh, uh, Hong Chen, right? Thank you very much. Okay, can we have the next presenter? Hello, Dr. Yeah. I am the next presenter. I will share my screen. Okay. Can you see my screen? No, I can see your face only. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. Yeah. Now loading. I can see it's loading. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can you see anything? No, not yet. It's still blank. Your 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 screen also blank. No. Your screen no. or something shown already. Yeah. Okay. Can you see my screen? No. Okay. Now okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure. Yeah. So, uh, I am Nisha Pika from TG Two T One. I will present about tutorial three point one, which is the question five. So the question is, uh, given the following information, draw the project network, compute the early, late, and select time for each activity, uh, and then identify the critical path. This is the given information. So the keyword is, uh, first is to draw the project network. Second is to uh, calculate the early time, late time, select time, and then to identify the critical path. So for the first one is to... Uh, draw the network diagram. So the network diagram is a flow chart that graphically depicts the sequence. So this is the network diagram. So if we look at this information from uh, D, uh, from A, there will be the duration is five, and there's no predecessor, and then there's no lag. 
So from A, we go, we have B, B and C. A. And then we look at activity B. So for activity B, predecessor A is A. And there's no lag between them. And there's no additional lag for B. Next is activity C. Can you see my, my mouse, my cursor? Yes. Okay. Next is activity C. For activity C, the duration is 15. And the predecessor is A. And then the additional lag for C is start to finish with C to D. So this is start. Oops, sorry, sorry. Uh, this is start. And then finish to D. Next is finish to finish D to E. So, so for D, activity D, start to start. D to E, which is from D, start D, percent, and then to E. And then the other one is finish to finish D to E. Finish D, and then to the E. This one, to this one. And then for activity E, the predecessor is B, which is this one. And then it's go to E. And then for F, the predecessor is D. And then there's no additional lag for F. Meanwhile, for G, the predecessor is C. And then the, and there's no additional lag for F. For G, the additional lag is finish to finish G to F. And then for activity H, the predecessor is F. And that's the end of our activity. Next is to compute the early time, which is the forward pass. So early, early time is calculated by the formula, which is uh, early start, ES, plus the duration, and then we got the early finish. So for activity A, the duration is 5. So if we calculate the early, the EF is ES plus duration, 0 plus 5 is 5, and then, then 5 plus 10 is 15. And then uh, after we calculate that, um, for this one, for E, 25 plus 20, we have to take 50 because in D, we, we have, we, uh, the, the ES is 20 plus 5 is 25. And then there's lag 25 and 25 plus 25 is 50. So the, the duration from the D is 50. So because of this, we will take our 50 as EF, and then it will continue to activity F, which is 50, and then uh, brought to bring to the next activity, which is 50 plus 20, and that is 70. And it's applied to uh, everything here. Next is calculate the late time, which is the backward pass. So the late time is calculated by the formula e is late finish minus the duration and then we will get the late start. So you, you start from the backward which is start at the end of the activity which is 70. 70 will be minus by 20 and then the activity will be reduced to 50. Then from 50 we go to activity F. 50 minus 15 is equal to 35 and from here if the activity is D, the 35, we'll, uh, but, but we take 25 because before there's another activity connected with D, which is E, activity E. In activity E, we, we have 50 and then the lag for it is 25. So 50 minus 25 is 25. This is uh, because uh, the, the duration for activity E is 25. We have to take the we have to take the twenty five for activity D. Here this one. And then you minus by five, you will get twenty. And then minus with uh, for to and then to the activity B, we take uh, we minus uh, twenty with five and then we get fifteen. And then minus by ten, we got five, and then go to the activity A back, and then five minus five, zero. So we get the and then, and then uh, we finish the backward pass. This applies to every activity also. So next is to compute the slack. 
So slack is determined which activity can be delayed. So we have to type of slack. First is the total slack, which is the LS minus ES or SL is equal to LF minus EF. Uh, the other one is the free slack, which is the ES in the next activity minus by the EF uh, by the current activity. So which the English one is like So uh, it's like this um, for ES in like for the free, to calculate the leg, the SL, we take this one minus this one. So like 70 minus 70 is equal to zero. So there's no slack here for the free slack. Same with this 50 minus 50, the slack is zero also. And then for the activity F, for the total, total slack, uh, means that uh, this one minus this one. This is zero. So the free set for H and F is zero. So uh, to calculate the, the other example for free select for this one is 50 minus 50 is zero. Meanwhile, this 35 minus 25 is 10. So the select for activity F is 10. Right. So the other one is, uh, what else? So, uh, this applies to every activity, which is 25, 25, 25 minus 25 is 0, this one also 0, meanwhile this uh, 30 minus 25 is 5. So, uh, uh, then it's applied to, so we have to calculate, uh, we apply the same formula for every activity. So, uh, next we have to identify the critical path. Okay, the critical path is the longest path through the activity network and it allows to, for the completion of all project and is the shortest expected time. So the critical path for this, uh, this project is A, C, G, F and H because the duration for this one is 5, 5 plus C, 15 plus G, uh, we have select plus 10, G is 10 plus leg here, 10, and then F plus is this is a start to finish. So we doesn't calculate the duration for this one. So it doesn't need it. So F is 0, and then go to H is 20. So we will get the 15, uh, 15, 5, 20, 30, 40, 50, 70. So it's same with the so this the critical the critical part is A C G F and H. Thank you. That's it. Okay, uh, I have one question. You look yes. at your diagram again. Yes, you look at your diagram again. So remember the critical path uh, with the minimum slack, right? So you have chosen oh, yeah. A, A C G F H. What about the others? Oh, so about the others. So if we calculate the others. Uh -huh. <laughs> You see, the, the diagram is, the ending is, uh, let's say unit of measurement is weeks, so it's 70 weeks. They all ending with 70 weeks. So mm -hmm. you need to identify critical path that is with the minimum slack. So the one you've chosen is A, C, G, F, H. What about A, C, A, C, D, F, H? F, H. So if we calculate here. No, 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 you calculate because the ending oh. they are all ending with 70. You see or not? The box ah, yeah. 70. So that means the ending definitely is 70. It's just you have to find out which path you think is the critical oh. path. So the guideline oh. is it, it must have minimum slack. So the one with you try to look for all those with zero, zero, right? That's ah, the yeah. minimum one. Uh, so just now you have chosen A, C, G, F, H. Yeah. Can you choose A, C, D, F, H as well? Uh, no, because we have slack here. No, it is it's the same one, isn't it? A A is zero zero, C is zero zero, mm -hmm. G is zero zero, F is ten zero. Uh, last one H is zero zero. So if you go A C D, it's all zero zero zero. Then F is the same pass by the same one, right? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's also passed by the same one. <laughs> and then it's, it's the same one, right? It's the, like uh -huh. the same path A, C, G, F, H. It just, you go to uh, A, C, D, F, H. Uh -huh. 
Ah uh, yes, I could see that. Same right. Uh. So that means uh. that is another possible critical path. Okay. So okay. we can have two critical paths. Yeah, it can have more than one critical path. You can you look look a look at look uh, look at the look uh, you have a look at uh, your diagram again and see any more possible path that can be considered as critical paths. This this answer got, this question got more than one critical paths. More oh. than two. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if, if, if you give me the answer now. You, you first thing you have to understand, critical mm -hmm. path is the one with the minimum slide. That means you try to look for that one the slide with zero value. And then what are the all the possible half that with this value? The ending definitely is 70 because it's all going to the last last note, which is ending 70. So you don't have to mm -hmm. go and add the duration. No need. You just look for the slack, which is the minimum value. So it can pass through many, many paths, but you're still ending with 70. That's the maximum duration. So can you give me other answers? There are many, many answers in this question here, the critical path. Mm -hmm. uh, A. Now, now we, are, we got two ready. Uh, any more? A, B. A, B. D. Uh -huh. F, H. Yes. Some more? Can you see some more? Push. Cannot see it. Uh, Doctor, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. I can for a bit. I can hear. Uh, did you see my slide? Uh, yeah, I, I can see. No, uh, now, okay. you, ask, asking you to tell me what other possible paths okay. that is classified as critical path. So you have given me now three, right? First, uh, yeah, A, C, G, F, H. Then second one, A, C, D, F, H. Third uh -huh. one, E, B, D, F, H. Or some more? We can go with A, B, D, E, F, H. Yes, correct. Yes. Any more? Oh, that's right. <laughs> e, F, H, what else? E, B. Uh, if A, B, E, F, and then H. Yeah, then A, B, A, B, D, E, F, H. Is it just now you mentioned? That's the one you mentioned, right? right? There's one more. E, this one, 10. Which one? A, B, uh -huh. E, o, F, O, D, uh, F. Because it doesn't go to D, just go from B. Straight to E, and then F, and then H. That is what is A, B, E. No, 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 oh, no. You, you, you go through the zero one first. Oh, yeah. Wait. Go through the zero first. One more. Yeah, mm -hmm. you write down. Yes. A, C, A, C, D, F, H. Yes. Which one? A, 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 C, D, A, B, E. E F H uh, A B D E A C D F H A C D E F H your, your your first one should be your first one A C D F H yes okay then A B D A B D A B D F H yes A B D E F H yes A C D E F H yes and the first one you gave remember that's the first one you gave is A C G F H there they are five trigger parts Okay. Understand now? Okay. Yeah. So th these are all possible critical paths. As long as you pass through all the zero, mm -hmm. those that still with the, the, the early one, they got five or ten. You, if you still pass through, the final one is still 70. So this question mm -hmm. got five critical paths. Okay, understand? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Thank you, Doctor. Yeah, okay. Your explanation is very clear. It's very good. Okay, well explained. Uh, only the critical path that you miss this part. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So you think you take note, uh, okay? Uh, okay, thank you. Okay, yeah. next. Yeah, okay, next. Question six. 
Uh, hi, Doctor. I will be presenting. Yes. Okay, so. Okay, doctor, can you see my slide? Yes. Okay. Good morning to Professor Dr. Ao and all my fellow cosmates. I'm Nicholas Lau from PG2T1. My presentation today will cover tutorial three, part one, question number six. The question states that what is a hierarchical representation of project risk? From what we know, a hierarchy is a tree diagram made out of roots and nodes. Therefore, the RIS breakdown structure, RBS, matches this description as it is a hierarchical framework representing RIS, starting from higher level and going down to a final level of RIS. RIS are anything unplanned or unforeseen that can have a negative impact on the project, cost, timing, and quality. Therefore, the RBS is one of the most important tools to manage risk for a particular project. Thank you. Yeah, very good. Well explained and well drawn diagram. Uh, I have to correct your statement. The risk, the consequences of risk is not necessarily negative. It can be positive. All right. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Remember this. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, the risk consequences can be either positive or negative. Not always negative. Remember my lectures, I gave one slide about positive consequences. Yeah. Okay, okay, remember that. Okay, next. Right, thank, thank you, Doctor. Yeah, welcome. Okay, good. Next. Uh, doctor, I will yeah. be presenting. Okay, good. Can you see my slide? Yes. Okay, uh, good morning to Dr. Ao and to all my classmates. Uh, my name is Muhammad Rafis bin Nur Muhammad from TG2T2 and I will, be, I will be presenting tutorial T question 7. Okay, the question is negative risk can either be avoided, mitigated or blank space as a countermeasure. The answer is transferred, shared and retained. The answer is based on project management, the manager process by Eric W. Larson and Clifford F. Gray, chapter 7, slide 16. Okay, that's all from me. Uh, thank you to Dr. Ao, uh, and uh, I will pass the session back to you. Yeah, good. Yeah, actually, if uh, there's only one blank, uh, you can either give all the three three terms or you can just give uh, one term also is already correct. Okay. Uh, okay, thank you. Okay, good. Thank you, Dr. Okay, next. Uh, hello, Doctor. Okay, well, um, I'll share, I'm trying to share my screen. Okay. Uh, can you see my PowerPoint? Yes. All right. Um, so my name, um, good morning, doctor, and to my fellow uh, cosmates. And uh, my name is Mawad Marais from TG Two T Three. Today I'll be presenting on tutorial three, uh, part one, question eight. So uh, the question reads as uh, you have identified a risk that will negatively affect your security project. Uh, you and your team have decided to use an older encryption technology because of the high risk associated with the new technology. What type of risk strategy are you using? Uh, so first we have to look at the keywords which are using an older encryption technology because high risk associated with the new technology. Uh, so based on the keywords, we can learn that the type of risk strategy we are using is avoiding risk, which means changing the project plan to eliminate the risk or condition. So in this case, we are using old technology rather than new to eliminate the risk. Um, that's all for me. Thank you. Yeah, very good. Well explained. Good. Okay, thank you. Next presenter. Uh, can you see my side? Yes. Okay. 
Wait, ah, my computer lagging. <laughs> Sorry, my computer lagging. <laughs> it's okay. When 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 ready, you click the slide show. Yeah, because the PowerPoint is not responding currently. <laughs> huh? The PowerPoint not not responding. Maybe you yeah, close maybe. and the open the file again. Uh, it's it's, it's like keep on loading like that. Okay, now my screen is blank. <laughs> huh? Blank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to reboot Ah <laughs> uh, no, I mean maybe wait for a while because I don't know why my computer like this uh. <laughs> Always like this? Uh, H I think it's HDD problem. Uh. Oh. Cannot afford H SSD. Uh, okay, can you see? I'm okay now. Can you see now? Uh, okay, click slideshow. Okay, uh, everything in slideshow. So are you viewing the, the, the PowerPoint or the slideshow itself? No, it is it's it is slideshow but girl is still first page question oh. nine. That's okay. I can okay, going to the out and everyone. So I'm Yang Sujet from TG two T four and I'll be presenting question nine. So the question is which strategy attempts to reduce the probability and the impact of a risk to the point where the risk is acceptable? <coughs> So the key points for the question here is the strategy and reduce probability and impact of risk. So from these two key points, we can conclude that the strategy is mitigating risk, which will reduce the likelihood of adverse event from occurring and reduce the impact of adverse event. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, answer is correct, mitigation. Uh, but, but your one is not slideshow, I still retain the first page. <laughs> Never mind, it's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. From our side, I, 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 my side, I cannot see. I still seeing. Uh, now, now I can see the second page. Okay, it's fine. Okay. Oh, so mitigating. Okay. Remember, uh, it's mitigating the risk means reducing likelihood, the probability of happening, and then reducing the impact that will happen if we have, uh, materialized the risk event. Okay. Ah, uh, good. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next, last presenter. Question ten. Okay. Yes, doctor. Okay, you see my slide? Yeah. Okay, good morning to Dr. Ao and all my classmates. I'm Dan Chowling from TG2T4 and I will be presenting the Neurology Question 10. The question is to determine the following statement whether it is true or false. The first statement is the risk response plan is another name for the risk management plan. We know that the risk management plan is including a little a list of possible risks with information and used to foresee the risk and estimate the impact. Uh, the risk response plan is include an option available when responding to a risk and is used to minimize negative impact and respond time to a risk. So we can know that the response plan and management plan is different, then the answer is false. Second statement is the risk always have negative impact and not positive. This statement is false because the risk can have the positive impact. Here is the example of positive impact in the project management, in which the risk of miscalculating of the estimation cost and the project finish with under budget. So this condition can bring the advantages to the to save, saving the cost. And next statement is the risk impact should be considered, but probability of occurrence is not important. 
We know that the impact is the consequences to project caused by an event, while the probability is the chances of an event to occur. Both of these provide the useful information in decision making and should be considered in risk analysis. Therefore, the answer of this statement is false. And the last statement, the risk register documents all the identified risks in the detail. The risk register will record the information about the risk, such as the risk description that identify the risk, potential responses to the risk, and so on. So the answer is true. That's all from me. Thank you. Can you please go back to the answer for the part two? Your explanation? Yes. Is this? Uh, okay. Uh, you mentioned positive impact, example of positive impact. Why you say risk, the risk of miscalculating of estimation cost? So that means you mis uh, your estimation is incorrect. Is that what you mean? Uh, yes. Uh, of course, as a project manager, we will try to avoid the miscalculating of the estimation cost. But it's, I think that it still has risk that we will... Uh, we will have something miscalculating and estimation because it's only the estimation is not the real it's not the real one we haven't before the project run we haven't know that what the cost we will really use so this one you say this one is positive impact example is this positive impact or negative impact but uh i think it's i said the, this positive because why, why, why when the project run with target, we can save the cost. So this help the company, then it will give the positive. No, because your miscalculation, right? That means you make mistake in your calculation of your cost estimation. Is that the meaning? You, you, are, you are making cost estimation and then you miscalculated. That means you make mistake in your cost estimation. So if you make mistake mm -hmm. in your cost yes. estimation, will that bring you positive impact or negative impact? Mm, I think it will give positive in. Uh, I think maybe uh, the use of word of miscalculating is maybe a bit wrong. It's, uh, my meaning is uh, the estimation, uh, the real use of I cannot hear you now. Uh, I, I cannot hear you because uh, I think just now was disconnected. Okay, uh, now can? Uh, now can. Can you just, just explain again why you say that is positive? Because I can't see it's positive. I still see it as negative. Uh, it's maybe uh, the word of use, the miscalculating so what, what, what should be the sentence the correct sentence now uh, uh, a bit not clear. sorry uh, yes yes okay. i can hear i'm uh, thinking yeah yeah that's right that's right it's, it's like, like like you know your 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 voice is like it is spoken like that you know uh then here are two words and i cannot hear anymore oh, so, okay okay uh, uh, maybe it's the uh, uh, risk of, uh, the real cost is lower than the estimation cost. Yeah, so it, it should it should be the actual cost. You know the risk that the uh, the actual situation is what you estimated. The actual cost incurred is less than what you estimated. So then that's I think it's the second one. The project finishes with under budget. I think that's the second one. That's the meaning. So that one is project finishes with under budget. That means you estimated a larger amount. Then you finish less than the estimated amount. That is the positive impact. So the second one is the correct statement. But first one is not. Okay, okay. Understand. Yeah. I don't want others to get confused. How can this sentence in this uh, you know, positive impact? It, it sounds it, to me is a negative impact. Because you make mistake in the cost estimation. Meaning that that means if it is incorrect estimation, let's say it's not enough. You estimated, let's say, 10,000, you end up with 15,000. So, is that a positive impact or negative impact? Definitely, it's negative, right? And unless your miscalculation is 
you estimated ten thousand, and then the is the second one that happened, which is under budget, and then it becomes a positive impact. Okay, okay, understand. If if you want to put that, then you have to put like uh, combine with the second sentence. You miscalculated the uh, cost estimation, and then it end up with under budget. Ah, uh, that will be a positive impact. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, so uh, make, make sure that you write it in the correct terms. Uh. Okay. So any questions? Okay, no problem. Okay. So uh, any questions regarding this uh, tutorial three part one? Anyone a question you want to ask? Any of the uh, answers given? Question one until question ten. Uh, okay. Uh, just comment first about just now all the ten presenters. Those who uh, greeted me and the class, and then introduce yourself, and then ending with a thank you, you'll get full marks for your presentation. So always take note, practice this. So when I come to your next week, will be your well, next Friday, will be your uh, presentation, the team one and team two. So take note, you make sure you practice this in order to get full marks. Understand? Okay. So uh, next, I want to brief you about the exam. Now, after I discussing with this, uh, Dr. Hyro about the method he used uh, that day I mentioned to you that he's, he planned to use Google Form. So in the end, he decided that he still wants to stick to Google Form. But when I asked him about what happened if there's a network problem, so when you're answering halfway through, uh, the network disconnected. So I asked him, whatever your answer using Google Form, will your answers be safe You know, in the form? And then you can continue later or what? And then what is going to happen after this? So he got like he got stuck with the question that I posed to him. So in the end, he asked me, what should we do? So I suggested to him uh, to use my method. That is the one I mentioned to you earlier. So what you need to do now is he decided to have two options. So the first option, he still use his Google form. So he mentioned that you will log into the uh, you log into MS team and then you go to Spectrum at 1.50 tomorrow afternoon. Okay, tomorrow, uh, don't miss the time. Uh. If you miss the time, you're going to lose the 15 marks. Uh. His, his marks is 30, but after that, he will divide by uh, 2, then become 15 marks. So because his part is 15 marks. So if you don't present on the exam date or this test date, you are going to miss the 15 marks. That's it, it's zero for you. Okay, cannot come and ask us to set another set of questions to you. It's unfair, right? So unless you've got some kind of uh, justified good reasons that can support why we should give you another chance. Okay? So he's decided to provide two options to you. First option, you will log in, you log into MS team for me to record that you are attending, answering the test one. And then you also go to access the file, the exam file, the test question from Spectrum. So you can, from there, he will give you the Google link. And then you go to that link and start answering. You can access starting from 1.50 p.m. tomorrow. So that's the first option. Second option, he agreed to use my uh, suggestion that I suggested to him that he prepare the question, the test uh, question, and then save in PDF file, and he will upload, maybe already uploaded, I didn't go to check, to Spectrum. Same thing, you can go to access Spectrum, download the PDF question file, and then after that, you also download a word template file that's for you to type in your answers okay so you type your answers on the word file that he provide for you according according to whatever template the the kind of answer part one the question one to five i think is uh, first one as i mentioned is uh, multiple choice questions question one to 15 just answer a b c d you know uh, out of a b c d just choose and then just type your answer only then the the other five questions uh, 16 until 20 will be true false a b a b only so you choose either a or b just type in a or b your answer then next one as i mentioned the part three is a subjective question he will give you a scenario about a situation and you as a project manager how are we going to address the issues that something happened to that case okay so that one you have to write a bit okay so after finish writing in the word file make sure you type in your old password uh, not your old uh, metric number and the new metric number okay cannot type your name uh, okay understand so after that you finish the word everything answer in the word file so that means you download both files after that you don't have access to a uh, spectrum you see if it's slow or what uh, then it's okay because you downloaded the two, two files you're safe already so you can just work on this and then you finish your word file you're answering then you convert the word file to become pdf so your file name should have your tutorial group number your tg2 and then underscore your old metric number 
save in PDF, and then you upload back to Spectrum. So you only need to access at the beginning to download the two files. At the end of the session, you upload only your answer file in PDF. Okay, is that clear? Now, we are giving you extra time. So I uh, suggested to him that he will, for those answering using Google Form, he say he will close. That means you cannot submit. He will close at 3.05. So that means we are giving you five minutes, extra three, uh, five minutes for you after 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock is the ending time of answering. So we give you five minutes to submit. So within the 3.05, before 3.05, make sure you submit if you are using Google Form. You must click the submit button. If you don't submit by 3.05, he will close it by 3.05. That means you cannot submit anymore. So you will also end up with zero mark if you don't submit by 3.05. Understand? So for this Spectrum upload the PDF file, same thing. So because in fact Spectrum, we can set the time. So again, you must submit before 3.05. Make sure you submit and then you get a, uh, I, I don't know whether he set an acknowledgement. You know, some, sometimes in Spectrum, we can set a message say, after you submitted, then he will generate a message say, you already submitted the form. Okay, so maybe I'll tell him to do that so that you, you know you're safe. You already submitted your answer file. Okay, so any question regarding the, the uh, tomorrow's test, the guidelines? Uh, some guidelines, uh, rules that he set will be, you make sure that your webcam is on. You cannot refer to any of the resources, whether it's from internet or from lecture notes or from anywhere, YouTube or whatever. And then next one, you cannot leave your place. Huh? That means he said you cannot go to the washroom. And then uh, you have to just sit there and then answer everything. You cannot uh, go and search anything from the internet or any other resources. So make sure you just follow the instruction. Okay, is that is that uh, so far so good? Okay, understand what to do now? So uh, if you yes. are Ah, if you are late, let's say you enter, you join the meeting late, you start, we, we uh, uh, actual uh, test will be starting 2, 2 to 3 p.m. So make sure you come in early. As I say, we will start at 1.50 for you to download because you are key in your info, your old metric number, new metric number, you key in your profile first, okay? The, the first part, you have to register your name first so that he won't give the name, uh, marks to the wrong person, okay? If without that info, you don't know whose marks is this, okay? Whose answer? So after that, you can start straight away, okay? And make sure you submit before 3.05. So in case, let's say you got something on and you join the meeting late, there's no extra time for you, okay? Understand? So that means we will finish everything by 3.05, that's it. Okay, any other question about the guidelines, how to uh, answer the test one tomorrow? Okay, yeah? No question? Right. Okay, now I... Yes? The Google Form link will be uploaded in the spectrum, right? Yes, uh, the, he, he said the Google form he will upload in the, you will go to uh, Spectrum to access, he will mention in the Spectrum because a uh, Spectrum can set when is the starting time. So you cannot start earlier, is it? So he will let you access the Google form uh, 150 when you log into Spectrum, you will see the link. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, okay. so it's the same thing. It's just uh, one is Google form, one is you can download question file and the uh, template for answer uh, word file. You just download after that, you don't have to accept uh, the spectrum. Because my worry is when you use a Google Form halfway through, like if you got disconnected, no network, I'm not very sure what will happen to the answer that you given halfway. So will it be safe? I'm not sure. Then after that, if you still disconnected, you still cannot continue, right? Isn't it? So to me, if I were you, I will choose my the method that I, I propose to him. That is, you download both files, you just work on it because you, know, you don't need any more connection. You only need connection when you download the two files, when you upload the final answer file. That's it. So other time, if you disconnected, uh, then you don't have to worry. You still can continue answering the, the test. You see or not? So anyway, I leave the choice to you. So you make your decision. So make sure you good, make a good decision. Uh, okay. You, you cannot swap. Let's say halfway you do Google form and then you change to the other uh, second method. Or choose second method and go back to Google. No. Okay. You choose uh, either one. Okay. Is that okay now? Okay. Now, next one, I want to... Uh, I, as I mentioned that I want to give you a revision so that uh, make sure that you're able to answer the test questions. Uh, so maybe you take down a piece of paper and jot down what are the main keywords I'm going to give you. Okay. The first one, you have to take note about the terms. These are uh, some of the things. Uh, as I mentioned, these are also covered in the tutorial questions. So the first one you must take note is about uh, in this project management, there is an institute, if you know, it's called uh, PMI, Project Management Institute, you know, okay. So this PMI, they offer a certification, 
a cert, like a Cisco, you know, that kind of certification. And the certification is known as a professional, this project management professional, PMP. So PMP is a cert, it's a cert, project management professional. It's a cert for people who pass the test uh, to say that this person is a qualified project manager and knows how to handle the project successfully. Okay, so you take note all these terminologies, PMI and PMP is Project Management Prof Professionals, Project Management Institute. Okay, yeah. So next, you must take note of uh, the first the first lecture that you study is about uh, the term what is project, what is a project, the definition of a project. So make sure you know you know how to differentiate between a project. And what is the routine, you know, every day you're practicing things that is not known as project. So you must know how to differentiate which are the one is classified as project, what, what are not considered as projects, okay? And next one is you need to know the term project charter and the statement of work. So what are the contents inside these two terms? And followed by a project planning, okay? So project planning uh, in your course here, you related to this uh, work breakdown structure. So how is the structure of WBS, okay? Uh, next, you have to take note of cost estimation. So remember, you got two types of cost estimations, the macro and the micro, which is the top down and bottom up. So what are the different types and then when you use all this uh, estimation and how good are each of these? And beside this, there's another one, which is about organizational structure. So remember, you have study about functional, we have a study about dedicated projectiles and then also the matrix form. So matrix form, you have the weak matrix, strong matrix, and also the balanced matrix. Okay. So next, followed by your uh, project, the network diagram. So just now in this tutorial, tutorial 3 part 1, uh, some of the questions you must take note. Some of the question is, uh, is coming out in the this test 1. Okay. So make sure you study this the answer for all the tutorial three here. And then you must know how to calculate, draw the network activity diagram. You must know how to calculate forward pass, backward pass, calculate the slack, and then identify the critical path. Okay, so these are the main thing you need to know about network activity diagram. Next is the lecture that we have this week, which is the risk management. You need to know a few terms. Uh, I uh, actually last night I decided to find some of the YouTube. So later I will upload to this uh, MS team here. You can download from the files there. I, I will type all the link. After you re, uh, do the revision from your lecture notes and also tutorials, you try to watch the YouTube, the link that I'm going to provide to you uh, as the last revision. Okay, so you watch all this and try to understand some of the terms related to risk management. For example, you know, risk mitigation. Uh, you know, uh, he also introduced in his, his test, he got some other term. So I will try to put into the YouTube and let you have a watch and understand. For example, he, he used uh, some other terms uh, that is related to risk management, like, um, uh, for example, the risk appetite. And then there are some other terms like risk tolerance, uh, you know, uh, these kind of keywords that he used besides the one that I cover in the lecture notes. So I will try to put uh, give that to you and then you must understand like um, what is project management plan, what is a scope management plan and so on. Okay, so I, I prepared this. Side. I was busy watching, try to get some YouTube that help you in your revision. So I'll type out the link for you and I'll upload to this, uh, this MS team here so everyone can access and download the link. And also the one that about the term that he just introduced in question one about lack and the lead, the differences. Okay, I, I'll give you some slide on that. I've given you a YouTube to watch. Uh, I think the, the first presenter gave all the correct answers, but I also prepare some of the a few slides to help you understand better. And also you must know how to identify, uh, you know, the task, which is like how to identify start to start finish to finish and then finish to start or start uh, start to finish or something like that. You must know uh, based on the statement given how able to identify which type is it. Okay, so I think that's enough for you. Uh, the, the other calculation one, make sure you memorize all the formulas, right? There, there are calculations. Huh? Uh, one, I think, uh, got network diagram where I already mentioned just now, you must know how to do forward pass. 
backward pass, calculate the slide, and then find the trigger path, uh, that kind of question. Then you must have a uh, calculation about uh, some of the cost thing, okay? Uh, so these are the things that you need to take note. Okay, any question? Um, doctor, yeah. uh, I do have a small question, but uh. I'm not sure whether it's a relevant one, but uh, after looking on Spectrum, uh, because Dr. Hyrule and you both uploaded a version of your slides, right? Yes. But after I checked through, uh, some of the slides are really different. Like if yeah. I take project priority metrics as an example, mm -hmm. you did teach about like the bread, like how to classify the projects into like bread and butter, oyster, mm -hmm. white elephant, mm -hmm. yeah, and stuff like that. But in Dr. Hyrule's slide, uh, it wasn't stated. So some of these things occurred in your slide as well because I think both of your like emphasis on topics are different, right? On like keywords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's why I say when I because uh this time is he said the test one, so that's why sometimes he got introduced some keywords that I didn't introduce in my lecture note. That's why after looking uh -huh. at his test question, that's why I have to tell you what are the keywords that I have not covered. Uh, that's why I'm going to prepare the YouTube, let you watch. It's just like, you know, the example here, the lag and the lead. I didn't introduce lead. Yeah. So he, he has the lead in his lecture notes. That's why he <laughs> he said a question on the lead and the lag. So they said, okay, uh, now I have to guide you, you see. So that's why I will, I'll prepare. But he already said the question in tutorial three. So you, all you understand what is lead now and what is lag now. So there are other terms that maybe in the risk management that he introduced, but I did not introduce. You understand? So that's why I will try to cover now and prepare for your last minute uh, preparation. I think you should be okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you, doctor. So uh, okay. it, it's still okay, right, for us to like just like study so, solely on your lecture notes and like with all the attachment of the keywords that you've just sent. Just yeah, now. yeah. I, 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 I'm preparing now. I'm preparing. It's it not finished yet. I'm preparing because I, I have to watch a oh. few on the YouTube, see which one that uh, talk about. Uh, introduce about all those terms that you need to know. So, so what I my advice will be: you study all the lecture notes, okay? You go through all the tutorial questions, memorize all the formulas, and then uh, after last one, you will go to the. I'm going to post this later in a short while. Let me finish first. But I just type halfway. Well, I spent quite a lot of time watching the what are the good YouTube's that cover all those terms that he used in the test. So I need to watch a few first. I said it's taking me quite some time. That's why some will send me questions. I also have no time to answer. Okay. So let me because this is more important now, right? Your 15 marks is more important. So let me finish this. Then uh maybe by end of this afternoon here, I should be ready. I can come back to MS Team here and then access the, the files. I will put up there so everyone can access. A few slides on the lag and lead, and then uh some YouTube's uh, link for you to watch. Uh that will be the you do it the last, then you should be okay. Okay, thank you, Doctor. Okay, welcome. Any more question? Doctor, I just posted my question in the chat. Is it okay for the example of the okay, work? Uh, the example of work file like this. The name? Uh, uh, no, no, no. O I O metric number, not new metric number. Because new metric number for us very difficult to trace. Your old oh. metric will be W I D W I H, you know, something like that. We know straight away go to that, you know, that. Because the yeah. your attendance sheet is uh, listed according to I know it's according to uh, alphabetical order, so we also have your uh, metric number Be because we prepare our own uh, name list. Your we are using your own metric number, which is easier for me to trace because your one seven two is very difficult to uh, the number is too long for me to trace and then put in your marks is difficult. But I'm I'm not the one doing it. I'm preparing the name list and send to him. He will key all the marks for you. Alright, get it done. Ah, okay, another question. Can we answer on a paper and then take photo to put inside the word file? Uh, yes, but actually, actually no need because you will be given the word file. You straight away type inside the word file. So you are wasting time. You, you answer on paper and then take photo put inside the word file. So no need because his one is uh, no need to draw diagram. You, you draw it on your paper on the, let's say you got a uh, network diagram, you need to draw it. So you draw it on the side because the, that question is a multiple choice question. The network diagram, he set one question on you have to do forward pass, backward pass, calculate, and then you find quicker path. You draw it uh, on your just a piece of paper. That one, that paper, no need to capture and put inside because that given answer A, B, C, D, you need to answer uh, A, B, or C, or D. So you need to type A, B, C, D, or E, only one answer. You, you Your workout on a piece of paper, no need to capture and put inside workout, no need. Okay, that one not needed. Okay, is that okay now? So, 
Jack Network will be in in the MCQ question. Yes, that one is is given the answer because let's say ask you to find out what is the critical path. So it's a one value. Like just okay. ask the question, the critical path ending value is 70. So uh, they, he will give many answers. Let's say 80, 75, 70, 90. Uh, so you work out and then say ah, uh, 70 is the answer. So 70, let's say it's uh, C, then you just type C. You understand? Understand. Thank you, doctor. Uh, uh, okay. um. Sorry, yeah. doctor. So uh, for the calculation, mm. we also need to type it down, is it? No, no, you, you, you talk, just uh, give the answer. Ah, uh, you because it's in the MCQ question. Also, the calculation, calculation is in, only for uh, MCQ. Uh, on, on your own rough paper, just find what's the answer, then you go and look the answer A, B, C, D, which is the correct answer, then just type, type uh, A, B, or C, or D. Okay, thank you, doctor. The, the working is on your own rough paper. No, you put inside the word file, no need. Good morning, doctor. Yeah. May I ask the case study is a essay question or is just a five, maybe five to ten short question? Uh, I think got uh, uh, I think about four questions. I think got four small parts. So it will be give you like a small scenario, uh, tell you this is situation and then uh, how you address all the problems that you're going to face. So total ten marks for that question. So make sure oh. you answer. So for that question, we need to use some of the concept of project management. Ah, yes, 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 oh, yes. Okay. That's right, that's right, that's right. That's why right. I, I, I try to get some YouTube, let you watch, and then from there you understand some of the terminologies or some of the things that you should address. All right, thank you. Okay, ah, okay. Any more? If no, I'll move on to the tutorial group three now. Okay, so I'll see you tomorrow. Make sure you log in at 150. Yeah? Don't uh don't be late. If you're late, no extra time for you. Everything will be closed by 3.05. Okay, so I see you tomorrow afternoon. Okay, bye bye. Thank you, doctor. Okay, thank you, doctor. Okay, welcome. Okay, bye bye.